Good morning. This is, um, I know it's unusual for me to start without doing this, but I will get to it right now. Uh, so, you can hear. Um, I'm guessing this is from Getter, uh, Eric Trump's account. And, uh, the, uh, the post reads, breaking. DonaldJTrump.com is shattering all fundraising records. And I'm told has raised more money in the past 24 hours than ever before in recent history. Uh, today is the 11th, so this is a two-day-old uh, post. Uh, so basically, the Mar-a-Lago raid. Yeah. Um, just a second, I have to straighten that up. Now, um, someone pointed out that, or rather the first response to that image I see is, uh, let me read this word for word. Imagine donating to a billionaire. Uh, to which my response is, imagine thinking it's only about the money. Um, now, granted, I mean, I'll, I'll give you this. Donating money to Donald Trump is like uh, pissing in the ocean. You're not really making that much of a difference. But... In the case of donating... Uh, to a political campaign, it's really not about the money. It's about people realizing they're teetering. And, oh, excuse me while I pull some candles on my fire. What, you don't carry candles in your pocket? Okay. Well, the candle maker things, I guess. On the off chance you're wondering why I'm pulling candles out of my pocket, I will show you in just a second. I thought I had five of them. Oh, there was five there. Okay. <laughs> Apparently I have bigger hands than I thought. And there's a bit of tinnitus. No, it's not tinnitus. It's tinnitus. There's a U in there, not an I. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to show this off. Uh, it's not finished. This is the candle holder I've been making on stream. Uh, it's not finished. Uh, these are very well fitted to the holes. There's no glue in there yet. I have a little bit of final sanding to do on the uh, candle holders themselves. Oh, I did figure out what kind of wood I was working with. Uh, the reclaimed base, which isn't juniper, uh, turns out to be mahogany. Very nice. Uh, those of you younger than me uh, definitely won't remember this because I didn't remember it. I'm too young. but. <laughs> Back before everybody went nuts over oak and pine for their kitchen cabinetry, mahogany was the thing. Back when people would say things like, rich Corinthian leather, uh, they also used to put mahogany cabinetry up in their house. I actually really like the wood, and I very well may use it one day uh, for my own cabinets. In any case, to return to the topic, uh, the reason that I say the U.S. is teetering is because it's become very, very obvious to anyone with a lick of sense that the Biden administration is weaponizing their institutions against their own people. Uh, you don't more than double your IRS agents overnight. 
and conduct a raid on a former president on flimsy grounds. Uh, as far as I know, none of this is banned on YouTube, so I can say what I like here. If it turns out you don't see a video from me this morning, that would be why. Uh, but, uh, as many people are saying, this is banana republic shit. Right? This is the kind of shit that you would accuse Putin of doing, but that he seems not to have done. It doesn't seem like he's increased, excuse me, Russian taxes to pay for the war in Ukraine. It's more that he's found new trading partners. So, yeah, um, North America is in big trouble. The whole West, really, but North America especially. We have two leaders who have weaponized uh, the institutions of power against their own people. Uh, Biden with the DOJ and Trudeau beforehand with the Emergencies Act. Uh, now, to be fair, people claim that, oh, the Emergencies Act was never used before. No, it was. It was just a rewritten act that Trudeau used for the first time. His father was uh, the last Prime Minister to use the Predecessor Act. Yeah, the War Measures Act. And, uh, yeah, yeah, not cool. So, you American friends of mine, I wish you well, because you are definitely entering a time of trouble. Um, a lot of people are saying here in Canada that our next election, if it's not rigged, it's going to be the big one. It's going to be the one that matters the most as to whether or not we maintain our status as a free country. And it's looking like the midterms and the next presidential election in the States are going to be the big deal. Now, your midterms are important because that handles Congress, uh, I think your Senate as well. And uh, you need to push every single Democrat out. More than that, and I agree with Stephen Crowder on this point, you need to get rid of every single Republican who doesn't speak against this who doesn't speak against what Biden has done. And your mainstream media really needs an overhaul as well. The, uh, the amount of confusion that's being created around this issue is insane. Uh, the amount of uh, obvious party bias. Now, on the part of Fox News, I completely forgive them. They come out and they say, we have a conservative bias. Good. It's better to have an honest enemy. Uh, but a lot of people are also talking about, um, oh, just to, to make the point, uh, the mainstream media in Canada is completely corrupted. They've been on Trudeau's payroll for a few years now. They're not going to bite their paymaster in the ass. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what he does. He can completely flout the rules he applies to everybody else, and the mainstream media still kisses his ass. He just flew to Costa Rica the other day. Chart flight. Uh, paid for by the Canadian taxpayer. Oh no, Trudeau paid for it out of his pocket. Who the fuck pays Trudeau? Yeah. Um, but supposedly he paid for it out of his own pocket. Bullshit. Um, and got off the plane in Costa Rica. No mask, no social distancing, no nothing. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, the little people don't count, apparently. Well, I, I hate to tell you, the little people are going to make a big stink. One way or another. It should be well known, and I don't understand why it isn't well understood. If you consistently piss in someone's cornflakes, they're going to throw the bull at you. Uh, now, am I calling for violence? Obviously not. 
do I expect violence? Fuck yeah. Um, I mean, you're taking away every other available means of making their voices heard. Here in Canada, it has literally been done that people have been silenced. Uh, Tamara Leach is a great example. Arthur, pa uh, Arthur, sorry, Arthur, pa uh, I'm not sure, it's a Polish name, so I don't know if I should be pronouncing it Pawlowski or Pawlowski. Uh, but that's the pastor in Alberta who's been jailed a couple of times uh, and saddled with ridiculous uh, freedom of speech inhibiting uh, prohibitions on what he can and can't do. They've even violated freedom of religion. As much of a pop culture guy as I am, uh, when when you have like the Mandalorian saying weapons are a part of my religion, for Pastor Arthur Polowski, doing good for people who are destitute is part of his religion. So him feeding the homeless, that's a religious duty of his. And he's a pastor on top of that. So he is living up to his calling. And yet the courts in Alberta, we'll say the courts, I mean the government, but the courts in Alberta tried to say that he wasn't allowed to go feed homeless people. What? That's like walking into an SPCA and shooting all the cats. Not necessarily a bad idea. I don't like cats that much. Just kidding. I don't hate them that much either. But if you don't give people an out, you're basically walking up on a bear and the bears that live in the cold part of the world are some of the most terrifying <laughs> just saying anyway that's going to be it for this video um i'll be making another woodworking stream this afternoon <coughs> where i'll be finishing the assembly of that uh, candle holder uh, it's not going to be terribly exciting. There's not going to be any noise. Uh, actually, sorry, I, I apologize. There will be some noise uh, because I will be using the miter saw to trim the ends of the base to get that nice and uh, clean. Uh, I'm going to have to be extremely careful on one end because I don't have a lot of leeway. Um, but uh, I'll be trimming the ends of the base which I should be able to do in the shed. Uh, depending on how the weather goes, I should be able to uh, do the uh, table saw cutting at the end of my day. And then all, all I will have left to do is drill out the, uh, the uh, basins, the, the receptacle for the candles. Uh, then I will be attaching the candles. Actually, no. Then I'll be varnishing. And once the varnish is dried, I will be putting the candles in the base. And I'll be done. <coughs> um, other than that, uh, go check out the Shades of Dominion. That's my buddy, Colonel Conservatives. Uh, new tabletop role-playing game based somewhat on Magic the Gathering. Go away, Mosquito. Um, but, uh, um, what else? Yeah, uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, the plan right now is to, uh, restart the Ask Arden live stream on Sundays, uh, but it'll be during the morning my time on Sunday, so that'll be early after, uh, mid-afternoon probably, possibly late afternoon uh, in the UK, and it'll be kind of early morning in the US. Uh, I'm probably going to aim for around uh, 11.30 my time, so that's Newfoundland Standard Time, or NST, Newfoundland Time. Anyway, whatever Newfoundland time is, I don't know if it's daylight or savings at this point, or standard or what. Um, I also don't know what's going on with daylight savings time. Uh, that may be 
going bye bye soon, which would only help people. I expect there must be major labor disruptions around those two days where times change. Um, let's see, what else have I got going on? Uh, I will probably be starting work on the project for Christopher Everard uh, for promoting his uh, Kickstarter. Uh, that will Probably be tomorrow though. I don't think I'll get to that today. Uh, and the weather is again contingent to that. Um, actually, no. I will do one bit of work on that today, I think, because I have some very long cedar boards that I'm going to use to do the carving uh, or the shaping. It's not really carving when you're using a rasp. Uh, but I will be cutting those to the lengths that I need. Uh, basically means I'll be creating a bit of scrap as well. And um, I think what I may do with uh, the rest of that cedar, what ends up being scrap that I don't need for that project, because uh, I will need two pieces of board at least for that project. Uh, that should leave me about six feet that I won't need possibly more. I may very well laminate those boards together with some glue and uh, uh, make a few bogan. Excuse me, my style or my attempt at uh, a western style bogan. Other than that, um, don't think there's a heck of a lot going on. Oh, actually I can show you this as well. Uh, this was a piece of juniper. Settle down boys. Uh, this is a piece of juniper that uh, I cleaned up last night. Uh, it's relatively straight, and I'm consulting with my buddy Cass as to uh, making a whistle out of this. Uh, I've wanted to try my hand at making some sort of instrument, uh, so I'm thinking a whistle would be fun. Oops, I'm going to drop this in a minute, so I'm going to put that down again. Uh, uh, or I suppose it might even be properly termed a flute, but uh, what what I will be doing, uh, I'm going to massively shave this down so I've got a perfect tube. Uh, once that's done, it'll be, like right now it's about inch and a quarter diameter, I think. Don't have a tape, oh yes I do. I was going to say I don't have a tape measure handy, but I do. There's usually a tape measure to hand. Uh, it is roughly, that's a little, mm, might be a tick more than an inch. Uh, that'll probably get taken down to at least three quarters of an inch. I'll strip off a lot of the sapwood uh, and then drill out the heartwood. Or I may drill it first before I shave it down. I haven't decided yet. As I say, I've never made a whistle or flute. Kind of small for a flute, I guess we could call it a piccolo. Uh, but I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to get that made, and that will be a gift uh, for somebody. I'm not saying who. Um, other than that, um, yeah, not a whole lot going on. So, uh, at this point, I will end the video. And, uh, you know, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you continue to do well. And rise and rise again until lambs become lions.